Welcome back to Joe Star Boxing. Um, a few people have asked me about this Julius Francis incident where uh, Julius Francis, the former British and Commonwealth heavyweight champ, um, knocked out some wannabe tough guy outside the box park in London. I wasn't really going to do a video on this, but like I say, people have asked me about it, so <laughs> for what it's worth, which ain't much, here's my two cents. Um, from what I gather, this this kid was, uh, him and his mates were causing grief for customers and security. and They're just being little, you know, pricks. That's what I've heard from several sources. Um, and, you know, one guy wanted to try and be, wanted to show off and play to the gallery, wanted to try and be the, the resident ringleader tough guy. And he got leveled. Um, and there's some footage, isn't there? I watched the footage. You know, it went viral. Um, you can see him swearing at people and pretending to take everyone on. I'm prepared to take you on. Interestingly, you know, he shoved. Uh, <laughs> the security guard he shoved looked about, looked like he was about fucking 16. <laughs> the smallest kid there. <laughs> and he sort of <laughs> looked at the big guy and thought, nah, and pushed the little guy. <laughs> Listen, this sort of shit happens every day, every Saturday night, every Friday night. A load of pissheads. I mean, I this is why I don't... I never, even when I was a kid, I never really bothered with clubs or pubs that much because I just got sick to death of all the wankers that used to hang out there. Um, all of, you know... They... But there was a few telling little incidents. I mean, the, he was with his little, little mates, wasn't he? Uh, this guy. And they were all up, you know. They were standing off and... You know, huffing and puffing a bit themselves, but letting him do his little merry dance. <laughs> and it was interesting that when he walks up to Julius Francis, Francis turns his lights out, you know, no messing. Now, if that was a serious crew, the moment Francis had thrown that punch, it would have been a free for all. Because all his mates would have bundled in, there'd have been a mass fight with the security, not a thing happened. Why? Because they're fakes, they're frauds, they're little punks, they're just little fucking. To a penny, wanna be tough guy, shits. That's what they are. You know, they've, they've, I don't know where they rock, they've listened to too many fucking hip hop records or watched too many gangster movies or they think they're villains or they think they, uh, I don't know what they are. I don't know who brings shit like that up, but I'd, if I was, if that was my kid, I'd be fucking embarrassed. I'd also be embar embarrassed at how easy he got hit with the right hand, but yeah, Francis is a former champ. I was going to say, you know, it's a case of young people today, younger people today, not really been able to tell the difference between being a tough guy online, which a lot of people think they are, and of course they're not. You know, this whole social media toxic fucking sewer like Twitter, you know, where you get all these little shits hurling insults at people. I was going to say, well, a lot of people can't tell the difference between that and the real world. To be honest with you, back in my day, like, you know, 35 years ago, 40 years ago nearly, we had people like that, like this little prick who got knocked out. We, we had them, we had them then, you know. The difference was, you know, if you stepped to someone back then, you, you knew you were going to have to have a proper row, which is why you very, very rarely got people taking on, you know, entire, <laughs> entire groups of security men, unless you were prepared to go the whole hog. And by the way, security men back when I was a teenager there wasn't all this you know you've got to pass a certain set of rules you've got to have your DBS check done uh, you've got to have your you know you've got to have, be trained in certain art the art of self-defense but you know um, what do they call it now proportional restraint or, or um, reasonable force and all this sort of stuff none of that existed back then if you behave like that you'd get fucking ironed out proper I mean you know you wouldn't get just knocked down you'd have the shit kicked out of you while you were unconscious on the floor as well I mean th they didn't mess around the security guys especially in London I mean I'm from London so maybe, maybe it's the same in other areas I'm sure it was but it, it would be grim it would be it would be end up very very grim for you um, nowadays you know, the security people. I mean, I know security guys. I work with one actually. Who's who's a he's in his forties now, but he's done he's done the doors for for, you know, for twenty years or so. Um, 
and they're all trained and they're all, you know, how to defuse the situation. And, so the, and I think people think they can take liberties because of that. They think they can be, you know, um, they think, well, the security guys aren't going to hit me. You know, I can, I can throw him any amount of fucks into them. I can, I can even get in their face. They're not going to hit me. They don't hit me because I'll sue them. And it's, no, 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 no. Julius Francis, he didn't have that view. And a lot of them don't. If you get in someone's personal space, you've got to be prepared to get hit. So my point of view, maybe because I'm the age I am, I don't know. I'm not, a, never have been a PC sort of guy, even when I was younger. And obviously I'm not now. But... If you do that, you've got to be expect you got to be, you should be expected to go the whole hog, which means you either you know you get beaten up or you beat someone up or you know, whatever. And it, like I say, it was very very telling that none of his mates stepped in. One of them heard, think of one of them go, "What'd you do that for, man? That, that, that's uncalled for. What do you mean fucking uncalled for? The bloke stepped to him. He's, uh, what do you think? <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't want to sound unkind to younger people, but there's a lot of fucking little shits out there. Uh, there's a lot of good young people. Don't get me wrong, I'm not being ageist or whatever the phrase is, but there's a lot, a lot of people who just, nowadays, the big, tough keyboard warriors, and then when they get in the real world, they think they can, it translates. I'm afraid it doesn't. I, I don't know, I don't know. Well, that's my two cents worth, anyway. It's all a bit silly and all a bit, ha all a bit handbags, but anyway... Did you see it? What did you think? Leave your comments below. This has been Joe Stunner Boxing. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Build the numbers up. You know the drill. Come on now. Hey, by the way, it's the weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Take care. Speak soon.